let me tell you something about prophecy before you sit down you see the bible prophesied that someone was going to betray jesus it didn't mention the name of any man the bible says that he will be given birth to by a virgin he didn't call mary are you listening to me he said he will ride upon a donkey he didn't call the name of any man you see prophecy is such that when it comes to this earth realm it begins to scan for human vessels who can align with the condition to make that prophecy come to pass are you following me now and so prophecy is not automatic that it means that is going no if god declares a word and says i intend to bless you that word begins to find those who fit the condition for its manifestation it goes around the entire earth looking for those who posture themselves are you listening to me and so it is possible mary would have violated that's why permission was asked from her before she got pregnant the angel came to seek permission if she refused the world will look for another virgin jesus would still have been born because no man played his fatherly role and so it really wouldn't have mattered so much who played the motherly role because he still wouldn't come with the blood of mankind hallelujah are you following me now and so when god gives prophecy it's not just it's not just to receive and jump no no that's the reason why you can have a vision for instance and see that god is healing one person and then you find out that 20 people will come they are positioned themselves to enter the reality of that prophecy hallelujah he, he was he was brought to heal the nation of israel and then a gentle woman came and positioned herself and said even the dogs eat from the crumbs and she forced herself into that prophecy are you following me now and so when we when prophecies are released that's not the time to just rejoice it's the time to align hallelujah it's the time to align ah, ah, hello hello madonna hallelujah hallelujah Haggai Haggai chapter 2 Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 For thus saith the Lord of hosts That name there is El Elyon Listen, hold on, stop I need to explain to you Every time God is speaking Don't just observe what he's saying Observe what dimension of him is speaking There are times that he speaks as El Shaddai There are times he speaks as El Elyon There are times he speaks as Yahweh the dimension he's speaking tells you the gravity of what he's trying to communicate and he said thus saith the lord of hosts the word there is el elyon hallelujah el elyon every time he uses the name el elyon he's about to speak over something that has to do with men who have been contending in the earth the lord of hosts el elyon now el elyon is speaking he said yes yet once it is a while and i will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and i will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and i will fill this house there is a particular house not every house i will fill this house 
with glory saith the lord of hosts hmm. verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts verse 9 let's read together the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former and in this place i will give peace now the word peace there is not just quietness and rest the word peace there is shalom hallelujah it means prosperity it means deliverance it means blessings are you following me now there's something the jewish people had called the covenant of peace it wasn't just the covenant it was a covenant of health covenant of prosperity covenant of well-being and so god is saying because my glory will fill this place i will cause that shalom prosperity health blessings and everything that i represent the word glory is from the hebrew word kabod the greek is doxa it means the weightiness the full presence the true essence and the nature of a person or a thing and god is saying every time my true person my glory the weight of all that i am and all that i represent fills a place and a people they will experience shalom